Hey, let's talk about this. What is efficient engineering? It's actually when a plan becomes a plan. Again, Roland Jung from ePlan. Here I want to show you a little bit how we work together with Retel. And in particular, Retel, these guys, they have a Retel configuration system, the RICS, also friendly named. Now, the Retel configuration is a way to select the right panel with the right accessories. I'm going to jump over and show you how inside ePlan this can be used. So let me just let leave that just a little bit further down here. You can see this is always related to ePlan working together with Retail, okay, with the Retail configuration tool. You don't have to have this open. So technically, I have here a page, a small project. At the moment, this project has two pages, one introduction page, one table of content. Um, using something smart in the ePlan portfolio, we have what we call a Cogineer. Cogineer is nothing else than the configuration of a project. So it's also a configurator, but a configurator of schematics. Here, when you pick different styles of schematics with different options, let's say here, this is gonna be my panel A1. You can just hit the generate button. And of course, with pre-configured macros I've done a little bit earlier, I generate a set of schematics. Let me just show you that set of electrical schematics. We have here some power supply. We have some overview for inputs and outputs that are actually linked back here to these individual pages out there. So standard North American schematics where standard components have standard part numbers. Most of these part numbers, a picture, whatever, even have more data that actually follows. If you want to see some uh, extra literature, technical documentation, you can just open them and you will see. Okay. Now, what I want to do now is actually to see how I can make use of the Riddell configuration system inside ePlan. And this is going to happen if I flip over here my workspace to Pro Panel, so this will rearrange my windows very quickly in a more favorable environment for my panel layout. So it's just repositioning my windows. This is called a workspace in ePlan. So you can see we have a few more toolbars that showed up. We have a few more um, navigators that show up here. Everything for me to actually make myself at ease to actually fill out here my 3D layout. As you can see, it's completely empty for the moment. I will open here the ePlan data photo. Inside the ePlan data photo, if the window is not positioned where I want it, I can actually reposition it and actually fuse it in this section. So I only have two sections within my, in my small uh, navigator here. And I will be looking for a specific part, 88, 84, 500. This is a retail component that represents a typical panel. But obviously with this typical panel comes a whole bunch of, so 84, let's see here, retail, R-I-T, dot 88, 84, 500. 102 much, very precise, right? <laughs> you can see this is my panel. And here I'm going to open the Retail configuration system. Same configuration you can open on your side, but if I do it in ePlan, you will see the benefits. It right away builds the panel so I can use it on my side. So this is actually now drilled down to the component we are looking for. I'm going to go to the next step. <clears throat> in the next step, I will have a presentation here of several different accessories I can add inside this one here. So maybe what I'd like to have is uh, a small light at the top there. Maybe I'd like to have here some 200 millimeter plint systems, which is nothing else than down here, like a cable entry system. It will add it, of course, here. Uh, did I click on the add? I believe I did, I thought. 
Okay, let's do it because I can see it here. Once it's done and you can see it's added. Now let's drill down. What else do we have? Well, we have some comfortable handles. We have some support systems. Let's go here with the wiring plan pocket here, right in here. And let's move on just to show you. Basically, th there's a lot of configuration. You can go here. You can add uh, different accessories. And it's, it's nicely tied up to the original um, configurator. So all the different accessories that will be presented to you are only matching the previous selection that you did. So in this portion here, when we say generate the ePlan data, it is actually building for you automatically the exact um, panel as you selected it. So if I go back here, of course, you can do the same thing here, but on, unfortunately, <clears throat> you only get the, the bill of material and you can order it. Um, what I'm showing you in the ePlan side is a bit uh, more detailed. So if I go here, just wanted to show you, I have pretty much the same kind of selection. So if I go here and look for the 8884, um, oh, it's, it's basically, I have to go here with the different enclosures that I wish to use. And eventually you can find it there. Um, I'm not too sure why this one doesn't come up with it. Um, this is something that we have to then check out. Maybe I started on the wrong foot here when I load the system and we can pick it up. I probably must have selected uh, either, oh, I'm here in small compact enclosures, you can see here. So technically when you open the configurator uh, here from the original website, you can actually pick the different large enclosures, smaller enclosure, even low voltage switch gear, uh, IT racks, IT power systems. And when you are in this environment, and probably here, since I'm actually in the uh, better system, I think this is a freestanding one. I believe this is a freestanding, uh, I'm not sure, Bang system, let's see. <clears throat> under what category it goes, 88, 84, there we go. So this is exactly the same. Just wanted to show you that the selections you have here are very, very similar. Of course, here it's gonna ask you if you want more than one. So if you only want one side by side and you want one of them, or you want them back to back, so you can put several different ones. And I think now I have the answer where it comes from. If I go to the previous uh, section here, and I say, I only want it freestanding, then it's not asking you like what we just had here, okay? So of course here, let's try this again, freestanding, same same panels will, will come up, I'm pretty sure. It's just that it's not gonna ask me if I want to bait them one next to each other, okay? So here, next step, I have here the option of picking, and you will see the accessories that are recommended here are obviously the same. So I can say, okay, I want the same kind of plint. Obviously we have two options. Let's say we go with the 100 instead, and you will see it will build it up also in that picture as we move forward. So same thing for the high, the system light, uh, same thing for you know the other objects here. You can even go more for next accessories in the catalog, or you can jump like we just did earlier, jump right away into the configuration. Now, when, when you do so, in this case here, you see the bill material, and the idea is obviously to finally go to the order, and you can order this system or the quantity as you, as you wish to, right? And ask for inquiry or get technical data, and that is what the RIGS does. On the other side here, it's actually ready at this point, all ready to be placed. So what I'm doing now, I'm just placing the device. So I'm really inside ePlan, I pick my records, I just pick it, it imports, as you can see, just here, and it sticks to my mouse, and I can just, boom, place it. Here, the baying concept is very easy. If I want to bay these side by side, I would just have to pick here the right um, uh, snapping point, and boom, 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 I could pl place a couple of these side by side. So you just saw here how the RIC system works, and what it does inside of ePlan, it obviously gives me a whole bunch of frame and su uh, support, and I can even go now to show mounting panels, and I would be ready to go, start placing all the components I have from my schematics just by a simple drag and drop. 
here, drag and drop the components or thin rails, you know the rest of, of the drill. And once this is done, of course, uh, let me just quickly do one small insert just to, you know, so everyone can see what I'm doing. If I do here, this, boom, boom, uh, put one, let's say like this, just for fun, you will see we have some drilling information. If I place some components here, I have two components. I'll just place them right on this object here. So you will see they, <clears throat> by dragging and dropping, they will show up in place, boom, boom, next to each other. Um, what else can we place here? Uh, maybe, well, we certainly have a transformer. We have overloads. We have all oh, these drives. I'm curious about these drives. So I will be placing the drives here after. And if I place two of these drives, and instead of placing them right out there on the uh, horizontal one, I actually uh, will want to place them here. I can, or I can just place them in the open space. Let's place two of them like this in the open space. We'll see if it actually comes up with some drilling. And I'm going to put a relay down or some other circuit breakers. So here I can paste this one, this one, and this one, these are just additional components. I'm going to drag and drop. And instead of placing them up there, I just want to show you how easy, boom, see how it actually rotates, just places it down. I'm not going to continue too much here. Um, and I just want to show you very quickly that as I move forward, I will get out of this project a whole bunch of documentation that is all generated with this one single menu, Generate Project Reports. So this will actually give me a kitting list, will give me a terminal diagram, will give me a connection list, a wire list, uh, everything just generated and based out of schematics, my panel layout, and that's it. So that's really the secret of ePlan. So here it's generating also some system messages, just tell me if there is uh, maybe a collision or something wrong with my panel at the same time. And it adds all the rest of the different views that I actually decided to generate. So carefully look on the left hand side. Here you can see we actually generated a kitting list. A kitting list is what? It's a parts list. Detailed list with all the components, all the parts. I don't even need that large. I could probably just reduce it a little bit. Then we have a dock and rail cutting list. So these rails, and here is the perfect cut list with the exact length in millimeters and inches. I even have a drilling information here. I have some drilling information for all the holes that I have to drill. Here is basically my drill template with even the measurements. Now, obviously at one point in time, you will have to assemble the backplate. So put some components on them. And interestingly, you will see that as I look at the global panel, I can look at this detailed list and I can right away also see how much cooling do I need in this particular panel. I don't have too many components right now placed that actually do consume or have a power consumer consumption. But if I would, they would all add up. And the more I place on a panel, the more come out here. Okay, the more I can see here how much cooling system I would have to add. This is a way to help you place these components. This here is probably uh, what's on the door. I haven't placed anything on the door. Another thing that is also interesting is that ePlan looks at all the terminals, not only uh, from a construction perspective, but also from a wiring perspective. What is actually connected? Jumpers, wires, everything is there. We can generate labels, uh, labels like device tag labels, or even help you in the prefabrication of the wires. Here are all the wires that have to be fabricated with source and target. I haven't routed them. So um, as you can see, we've done a lot. And this all based on the schematics and the panel layout. So really, RICS, the RITAL configuration system here, came in really handy because I did not have to do anything. And if I want to order now, I can take this at the end of the day and just simply also take my bill of material and generate my bill of material in an Excel sheet. Okay, here, Electnet, 
is an option. Um, summarize parts list is the one I'm looking for. Here, parts list going into Excel. Uh, I can choose which one I want, what format I want. I have different options. And I just generate this. Sorry, this was everything on ePlan, my Excel sheet, ready to go. And here you go, the quantities, the part numbers, description, the size of the components, everything is there. So this was really ePlan, and especially how you can become efficient, how your engineering can become efficient, especially when you combine both of them together, Retail and ePlan. Thank you. This was Roland from ePlan.